Hi there cadets! Today we're going to talk about how to deep clean a piston valve instrument. Now my focus today will be on the trumpet but the process could be um, applicable for low brass instruments, euphonium, baritone, and tuba, but I highly caution you against doing that procedure very quickly with your low brass instruments because your teacher may have a different idea on how they'd like these instruments to be cleaned and they might just not want you to do it at all. Um, it's very common for uh, school programs to do a deep clean uh, with like a chemical bath once a year and they just might not worry about you doing uh, like monthly maintenance. Just take care of oiling the valves and greasing the slides. So before you throw the tuba in the bathtub, make sure you ask that it's okay. I'm guessing most of the time your teacher is not going to expect you to do that bath. Um, first things first, we're going to zoom into the trumpet. I'm going to take everything apart and show you how to do that. And then we will go um, to the kitchen sink and the tub and I'll show you how to clean the rest of the instrument. Okay, first let's talk about the things that you're going to need to clean your trumpet. You will need a small plastic container to hold all of these small parts maybe even two, but even just a safe place on the table would be fine for the what I'm thinking of. And then you're also going to need a snake. You can buy these at the music store or on the internet. Just Google trumpet snake and this will probably show up something like it. I think I bought this one brand new. It's a Yamaha brand. It's supposed to be for trombone. I think this one was ten dollars. So and it'll last forever basically so long as you don't cut it in half it should function just fine. So I'm going to set this aside because we don't need it just yet but we will soon. All right first thing I want you to do is we're going to take all of our slides off. I want to caution you that if your slide doesn't come off easily, be careful and seek professional help. Don't take tools to your trumpet. Remember this is a musical instrument and it is not meant for hammers and other such things. So I'm going to start with my main tuning slide and my trumpet is pretty well greased so this process should be pretty easy for us. And my third valve slide. Sometimes people have a screw that holds that in place. You may need to take care of that. Then first valve slide. Second valve slide. And this one's a little tricky sometimes. Okay, so I have all of those pieces in here. Now we are going to take apart take the valves out and we have to remove one little piece from them. So if your valves are not numbered, I caution you, be very careful. They're very easy to get mixed up and it might be a little tricky to get them back in line. Mine all have numbers. So, for example, first valve has the number one right there. So I know that that's going to go right back there when I'm finished. Okay, take the other valves out. And then there's only one thing left on the trumpet to take off. And that's these caps right here. These tend to get stuck and I'll show you a trick to make that not happen in the future. Um, but if they do get stuck, talk to your teacher or a repair technician. Don't try to take a pair of pli pliers to it because you can damage your instrument once again. Okay, so my valve ca caps are off. All of the valves are taken out. Everything is has been removed. Now, before we do anything, I want you to remove a piece of the valve. And here's what I'm going to do. If you pull this piece up, you'll see that there is a little piece of felt right here. This piece cannot get wet. We don't want to get that wet. So I'm going to pull the felt up a little bit and I'm going to hold right here on this little screw because this can actually come apart too. But I'm going to hold there and remove the valve cap up here. So I have that off and then I'm going to take this part off and then remove my felt. Okay and just set this aside. Put the other pieces back on. And we don't actually need to take the valve completely apart. It will serve no purpose at all. One more thing, when you're oiling your valves, remember that it's only from this point down and don't put it into the holes but here, okay? Now what I want you to do is to take the felts off for the other two valves. Okay, now that I've finished removing my felts, what I'm going to do is take all of these small pieces and we're actually going to wash these in the kitchen sink separately from the rest of the body. It's a little bit safer and a little bit easier. So, I'm going to take all of these pieces, 
and take these to the kitchen sink. Okay, here we are at the kitchen sink, and my first precaution is that you need to put a plug in the sink. We really don't want to lose any pieces in the sink. I'm actually going to leave all of the parts in this container. I'm going to take just some generic dish detergent. I'm using Ajax. It really doesn't matter what kind you use. I'm just going to drizzle some soap on top of that. That's a lot of soap, but we've got a lot of grease and grime to clean off. You're going to use like warm water, not hot, but not cold. And I want to get that perfect temperature. There we go. Okay, so now I have my warm soapy water. And I'm just going to let this stuff soak while I go clean the rest of the trumpet. Okay, now that we have our trumpet in the bathtub, I have filled this with warm water. It's not hot by any means. If you use hot water, you can actually melt the lacquer off of your instrument. So I highly recommend that you don't do that. Um, we have just the body of the trumpet in the water right now. And I've been letting it soak for a little while just to help get rid of some of the grime on the inside of the instrument. Um, probably about 10 minutes would be enough time for that. So what I'm going to do now is take my snake and I'm going to go through all of the pipes and tubes in the body of the trumpet. I'll start with the lead pipe. This is where most of your grime is going to be, is right in this first pipe. Now we'll do all of the rest of the pipes. And carefully go through the valves. It's great if you have an actual valve brush. I don't have one handy, but this brush is soft, so it's okay. to just kind of run some water through. And now it's time to rinse. Start with the bell and get as much soap out of the instrument as possible. Then you'll need to take your instrument out and let it dry on a towel. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. Um, my trumpet, I've laid it out on a towel to drip dry as best I can. We have our valves and slides here soaking. I have my snake, we're gonna need that to clean the slides. And a green scratchy pad. You can get these at the grocery store or the department store for really cheap. Um, some people use steel wool, but I really advocate this because I think it does the trick and it doesn't um, damage the instrument. So, steel, uh, scratchy pad and snake. Those are the only things we're going to need here. I'm going to demonstrate the slides first. And let's just get rid of some of the soap to start with. Remember, you need to have a plug in the sink. Okay, so I'm going to take my slide and take the snake, go in one side, scrub in and out a little bit and try to get it to go all the way around. I might have to come in this side. That looks like I do. Okay. Okay. Now rinse the inside. Again. Again, make sure you're not using hot water. Now I'm going to take my green scratchy pad and clean the sides right here. Rinse again. 
and repeat the process for all of the slides. Okay, next we have to clean the valves. And what I want you to do is to use a soft cloth of some sort or a sponge. I'm actually going to use this just because it's been worn down a little bit. Put some soap and water on here and just go crazy with it. So I have a little bit of just hand soap here. And I'm actually just kind of working this with my hand a little bit. Very gentle. You don't want to damage the finish here at all. But you want to get as much of that oil and grime off as possible. So rinse thoroughly and then repeat the process with the remaining valves. And the last thing we have to do is to clean our valve caps. What I just like to do is take my snake and just go around the threads a little bit. If this hasn't been done in a really long time, these will be green and disgusting. Mine was washed recently, so I don't have much of a problem here. But just scrub real quick. Do the same thing with the other two. You want them to be as clean as possible. And then rinse thoroughly. And meet me back at the table with the rest of your trumpet. Okay, I'm back here at the kitchen table and I have cleaned all of my slides, we've washed the instrument, and my instrument has actually been sitting here for a few minutes drip drying, and same thing with the other valves and slides. You want to make sure you get most of the water out, it's not going to be a really big deal if there's a little bit, but at least most of it. Before we do anything, I want to put the felts back on our valves. It doesn't matter which one goes where, they're all exactly the same. So, it's the exact opposite of what we did before. We're going to take the first valve here, hold that little screw here, and then unscrew the top. Take this piece off, add the felt, and reassemble. Now I want you to re repeat that process with your other two valves. Okay, next step, we are going to take the body of the trumpet and we're going to add our valve caps on the bottom here but first I want to take a little bit of slide grease um, I'm just using Yamaha slide grease in the tube actually I have some in a tub too that I'm going to use um, just take a little bit of this and you want to put it on the threads and what this will do is it will prevent them from getting stuck and seized in place in the future so just a very small amount be careful not to get it in the tube Okay, now we're going to take our valve caps and put them back on. Okay, next step is to put all of our slides back on. I'm going to start with the main tuning slide. Again, we need to put slide grease on both ends of these. Let's start by doing that with all four slides. Okay, all four slides have been greased. I'm going to take the part of the main tuning slide with the water key and put just the bottom part in first and move it around. What you're doing is greasing the inside of this tube. Do the same thing with the top part. Now put both pieces in. Sometimes these are a little tricky. Remember the main tuning slide does not go all the way in. Repeat this process for all four slides. Okay. 
Okay, now we're zoomed into the trumpet. I want you to make sure you have the right valves in the right spot. Closer to the lead pipe is the first valve. This one is my second valve. This one is my third valve. And that makes this one the first one. What I want you to do is just to set it in the casing. Whoops, sorry. I recommend using Hetman's Piston Valve Oil. Um, this is a little bit more expensive, but it's worth the money. Take the cap off, and we're going to run just a little bit of valve oil up the side. You only want to put it on the part that goes inside. Not up here, that's going to do nothing for you. So just a, a drop or two will do the trick. Now, twist the valve cap to the right until it clicks, and screw the valve in place. That puts it in the right location. Now, repeat this process for the other two valves. Okay, now you're good to go. Okay, now you've been given a crash course on how to deep clean your trumpet. I would recommend doing this process every month or two would be great, but even just once a term throughout the school year, and then once over the summer for sure. This is not something you need to do once a week by any means, but just the more you wash it and the, the better care you take of your trumpet, the better it's going to function. You'll notice your slides will move better and you'll never have a sticky valve if you take care of this process. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at the address listed below. I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you keep practicing.